guys. Um, today I'm going to be having a look at uh, the Chapter House Studios um, Space Moon Jet Bikes. Nice models. Um, I brought a set of five for my Lunar Wars Pre Heresy Army. So, pretty much, this is what you get. Okay, this is the main body of the bike. I really love the uh, front end of these. I think they look loads better than that other uh, version that's out there. It's from a Polish company, it begins with K, I can't remember who it is. Anyway, these three blocks here, you have to remove those. Um, so that's the main body, and then you've got two engine sections to choose from. And there's the standard bike section, and this is the Scout one. I, I don't like the Scout one so much, so I'll be using the uh, big engines here on the uh, standard one. And they actually slot in there like that. Uh, you also get the legs, two arms, very nice uh, casting in them as well. You get two little handlebars and you get a choice of two top parts for the bike as you can see the one's got two bolters on it and the one's got one bolter and a gap. That's for other additional weapons that you may wish to put on there but I haven't bothered with that. I'm using the two bolters and the, any different weapons I'll actually be holding in the hand of the Space Marine. A little bit confusing regarding these bits here because the website isn't clear at all and you don't have any instructions. See those are handlebars but when you try to match them up on here there's just no way you can fit them on. It's, I'll be buggered if I can figure it out anyway unless I'm just being thick but nonetheless what I've opted to do I've removed that section and put that one on in its place and uh, you'll see in the model I've built in a moment anyway. It doesn't look pretty decent so yeah I'm quite pleased with that. And of course you get the uh, bases. Uh, I shan't be using these, I don't like these either. I am using the bar section there, which I'll show you now. Let's just move these out of the way. And here's the uh, finished product. Now this is uh, going to be the sergeant of my squad. First I'll just show you the base. Uh, I've used a cyborg in his uh, bike base. I much prefer these, they're much more stable on the table. They look nice. They're still within the footprint of the model as well, so it won't make any difference. I think they look great. Okay, let's move on to the model itself. As you can see, I've built the bike, and I've added some bits, so I'll take you through the bits I've added. I've just added a couple of purity seals on there. There's the handlebars, as I was saying. Let's turn it around so you can get a better view. So yeah, I think uh, I'm going to just stick with that method, because I think they look fine like they are. Um, I've added a couple of saddle bags to the side, both sides, from the Space Marine Tack Kit. And I think that was off of a Scout bike or something like that. And I think that works quite nicely on there. Now onto the torso itself, I've used a standard ta tactical Space Marine torso with one of the arms. What the other arm is from the actual bike kit itself. Um, a max mini head and another cool couple of bits I've used are these shoulder pads which I think are absolutely I really like them I like them so much I'm going to be using them for any remaining Space Marines in my POC army they are an actual smaller version of the Terminator one designed to fit on Space Marines and they're from Anvil uh, Industry and they're bloody brilliant and so is the plume on top of this head. That's also an anvil industry plume. Brilliant stuff. Worked really well. So the actual torso on here is like three different companies worth of bits. That's why I've uh, shown this uh, un undercoated. So you can actually see how it's come together. Um, I've also opted to use the, the torso. Actually, I said it's from a tactical one. It's not. That's not actually true. It's from the... Um, it's from a vehicle sprue. Uh, you get it in most of the, most of the Space Marine tanks, um, and it's usually a driver that sits up at one of the top hatches. As you can see, the uh, backpack isn't there. However, it is important to note you could still easily fit a Space Marine backpack on here, and it wouldn't interfere with anything, uh, and still look pretty cool. So, if that's what you want to do, if you're short on these sort of uh, back parts, of these torsos, then that's the way to go about it. Uh, I've over the years I've had a few tanks so I've probably got enough to do a five-man squad of them so I'll stick with them but like I say 
you can fit the uh, backpacks on no problem if that's what you want to do so yeah there you go guys I've got to paint these up really quick because I was going to have a six man bike squad in my Lunar Walls army for my campaign but I've changed my mind now and I've checked out the points and so forth and I'll be having five jet bikes instead I'll still have the same weapon load out the only difference is they'll be fast skimmers and be more advantageous for myself so there you go guys one Space Marine jet bike from Chapter House Studios, Max Mini and Anvil Studios and GW so don't forget to comment and subscribe guys and I'll see you in the next one